This is Twit. I'm going to be talking about Android 13 tomorrow uh, for the Android show, but on the All About Android show right now, I'm going to be talking about 12L, except it's no longer 12L or 12L, as we have said before. It is now officially Android 12.1, uh, and it will be rolling out to uh, Pixel phones, but strangely enough, not the Pixel 6. Yeah. And uh, yeah, which is kind of a <laughs> bummer. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of bummed for two for a couple of reasons. Number one, no Pixel 6. And the fact that they're going calling 12L, which is the kind of like intermediary version of Android that was meant for large screens, to just now be a dot release. Mm. Uh, but that's what you get. And of course, you know, we've... Um, I think who's it? Let me see. If we scroll, up. Um, actually, if you are interested in what's different in 12L, 12L, now 12.1, 12. we can't say 12L anymore. 12L. 12. 12L. Uh, Nine to five. Google did a really great hands-on where they pretty much go through uh, step by step or feature by feature all the new things in 12.1, and kind of you know like as is typical of a lot of the releases these days, it's been kind of a what. Nine to five calls a refinement release. What some of us devs like to call a dot release, and in fact, it's 12.1, 12, 12 where it's kind of more just refining things, tweaking a few things. And a lot of it is like UI changes, usability changes, you know, your your uh, audio volume screen is a little bit wider, a little bit comfier. I think there's a lot of emphasis and um, of course around, you know, split screen things for tablets, like, you know, making sure that they kind of, label things appropriately now split screen is, is now split top for example just to kind of give you give users a little bit more clue on how these different large screen oriented features work there's a lot of you know enhanced haptics kind of like the you know, other kind of 12 features where it's all about kind of making making a more modern interface making things a little more intuitive more quick setting tiles more ways of reaching information more quickly. Like for example, now, if you look at the, I'm going all over the place, my bad, but if you, for example, look at your at a glance where your clock and your weather are, you can now tap it and directly open to calendar, this kind of thing. So there's a lot of like little tweaks. It feels just like, you know, they did a lot of user testing. They got a lot of feedback and are just kind of making things a little bit easier, a little bit faster. And I mean, it's still strange though, because this is 12 L, 12 L, 12 L. It was 12 L, 12 for large screens. But there's not really any large screens that right out right now that have it have it on it. Like you know, usually um, as noted in the let me see as noted um, by Ars Technica, a lot of times you know kind of like these big releases that are something like the large screens come out with kind of a you know um, coordinated release of a bunch of Google apps maybe or at least kind of a rapid succession of you know this thing oriented apps or app updates but we're not going to get that mm -hmm. we're not going to well, get that 12l is out but we don't really have any big tablets and big to show like, but i could see to showcase it so i could see a couple of thoughts here first i'm delighted to see the move to 12.1 because all the stuff you were explaining when sounded like that sounds like a point release, yeah. Right? Right. And yeah, so like I'm glad that like they got rid of the twelve because the, the twelve L was just weird and whatever. And uh, props to cousin John this, in the chat room for saying no twelve L for the six L, oh. uh, which I like. Oh. But, um, <laughs> but uh, that got a laugh from Burke. So good, good. Yeah, yeah. That's John. good, good job. one, very good. Um, but uh, but you're right when like we won't see the results of this on large screens until it starts rolling out. Right. And yeah. with everybody who's complained about for every Surface Duo or every tablet, um, which, by the way, I have my, my Lenovo tablet in my bag. If you want to see it, Jason, if you want to play. Oh, that. OK. But um, um, but like it could be like they might be coordinating with all the tablet manufacturers saying, OK, now you're ready to roll out 12. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it could have been like, let us get this out. And then we'll see a wave uh, of, yeah, of OS true. updates, and we'll we'll see. Time will tell. I mean, like if I get a if I get an update for my Lenovo tablet in the next month or so, it's going to be 12 l right, or 12.1, mm -hmm. right, and that will be you know better for the tablet. So you're right. Like we're we're not going to reap the rewards of this at this moment because it's only on phones. Mm -hmm. But now keep an eye on every tablet manufacturer to see when they do the upgrade from 11. Right. If, so, yeah. if, if right, slash if. when. <laughs> if and I, like so, I'm I'm definitely. Like I have, I have two, I'm a little bit, I feel not ambiguous, ambivalent about this because I think part, like, like it just feels like part of like the lack of adoption of tablets has been like the compelling story, you know, like we keep talking about like the, the, the big experience is going to drive people to tablets or the killer app or what have you. And kind of, I, I feel like even as devs, we're very conscious of like consumer perception of, of these devices. And so I, I, I kind of feel like the 12L to 12.1 story is kind of muddying the waters a little bit. Like, again, like I feel like people respond to like big, 
like big splashes of news, right? So, hey, here's your Samsung S Fold, Book Fold, Z Fold, foldable rollables. And here's like a bunch of cool apps to, you know, go with them and to kind of make a good first impression for whatever this is, whatever this new era of large screen should be. And I, I feel like, I, I, I worry that people are going to see this and be like, well, was that no big deal? And then even when the tablets come around, it's it, there's going to be a little bit of a dent in possible hype. That being said, as a dev, I get it. And I, I think it's like, I'm complaining about the same thing. It, I'm, it's like, I'm going to contradict myself, but I feel like with devs, we've been so resistant to support large screens that there was no way that someone's going to take a beta or a v- vaguely stable release and, you know, invest a lot of time and resources into large screen experiences. So I kind of get it from that point where, okay, look devs, it's stable. It's in production. You can get it on your phones minus your pixel six, please do things with it. And then maybe the hope is, is that if this is kind of low key, maybe around the holiday season, when Samsung comes out, some devs will have said, okay, it's production the APIs or whatever won't like get pulled out from under us like a rug. Let's go ahead and encourage people to do it. Well, that, I mean, um, that's so, what, I don't know. What, what surprises me to on that note, like, wh- ha- and I don't know. I mean, when you're, you're probably closer to this than I am. I, I definitely know you are, but like, why hasn't the Google developer program done some sort of outreach with key manufacturer, key developers to make apps that are enhanced for 12.1 so that you have mm-hmm. that big splash? Or maybe they do that, you know, like, you know, what I think, you know, what I think the tablet, you know, I've said this is the year of the tablet. And what I think the shot in the arm that the tablet needs is that when Google does whatever the spring hardware rollout is, whatever, it's like, and here is a new Pixel tablet or here's a new, you know, like we're, we made this OS for the larger thing. We believe in it. And we worked with these developers to make these tablet enhanced apps, you know, like that whole kind of thing. But again, you got to roll out this OS in order to do that. I also don't think they're doing any of that. So this yeah, is I was going to say, like, I, I wonder if that's actually going no. to happen. That would be great it would in be the great. fantasy land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I have a whole lot of hope yeah. that that's happening, but maybe, maybe it will. Yeah. Um, one thing that I noticed, I was kind of like looking through some of the features of this and everything. And uh, one thing that caught my eye, improved compatibility for apps that aren't optimized for larger screens. Google recognizing that, you know, a lot of developers mm-hmm. just don't, you know, don't put yeah. in the work, you know, to, to update it. And whatever systems were there before to take that phone app and just scale it up to tablet were insufficient. And I'm sure, you know, I think... I think proof positive of that, you know, we've seen over the years uh, in a number of different ways. Um, But I'm curious to know what you think when, do you, do you trust or do you believe that a version like this that can, that can take someone's app, a developer's app where they haven't done optimization around tablets? And like, do you think a release like this could actually make that better, uh, like noticeably better? I I mean, I I think to some extent, but I really feel like the the thing that will make large screens sing is, you know, gear is specifically designed. Yeah, yeah, no uh, question. Experiences. You're right. So, so for example, um, I think I can talk about this. Um, you know, like for for things like you know, multi tap. Like I think the thing that they keep asking us and presenting to us are things that are only going to be possible on a large screen, like multitasking. And like split, I mean, like you can do split screen on the phone, but things that really make sense on a large screen with lots of real estate are split screen and like dragging and dropping between screens and things like that. Multitasking, you mean like Windows. Yeah, like window, <laughs> <laughs> like Windows. Okay, cool. So, um, and yeah, like so the dual, like all the dual pane. Like I mean, like kind of one of some of the figure, features in twelve point one that um, are so actually very, us. by the way, very well numerated in does. in. Yeah. Um, uh, nine to fives video, which you should look at for the breakdown. Cause I yeah. did a sh- crappy job, but I almost said a bad word. I, <laughs> I think, but, but, but the thing that really makes that like really will make large screen sing is a enhanced navigation is like dual pane and making sure that your app works for these things. And to some extent the some of those things might just, you might come out the box, but a lot of this is going to take effort. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I honestly, when you said that, I'm like, oh, really? Like, kind of, maybe. But I honestly feel like the thing that's going to really make an experience interesting on large screen is is taking advantage of these new features, which you're not going to get for free. Um, and we have not, and we're not. Like, I, I per- I have, I've told people this at work, like, and I've told people like this, anyone who asked me, like, no, our, uh, like, for us, our large screen experience in a lot of places is not great. Is it going to benefit from some of these things maybe but we just don't use the space well right. um and unfortunately we've decided that 
we, it's not a good ROI for us to do so, but maybe that'll change. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, and when Jason, when you mentioned like adapting apps for large screen, I immediately thought of, do you remember when the iPad came out and you could put Double iOS apps and whatever. there was the two X button yeah. yes. and just made it bigger. Oh, like, totally. That, that, totally. Yeah. yeah. Like, the, and like know, no one wants that. No one that's, wants that at all. Like but, the, but, well, but when, as resort. you were talking about that, I, I snickered to Jason cause like what you were describing sounds a lot like Chrome OS. And I, and I realized <laughs> Jason, how, I mean, we got to reset the sign. How many years has it been since we complained about why does Chrome OS exist and Android exist and why are they going <laughs> to yeah. merge the two? Right. Like, yeah. like I feel like we're in Groundhog's Day where we just like yeah. every two years we talk about the same topic, but yeah, that's a good point. We're like a lot of the stuff that Chrome OS has figured out with windowed apps and access and transferring information and like, like a desktop operating system. Oh yeah. yeah you yeah, you yeah. take a look at some of the yeah. shots and the screenshots yeah. that accompany this, this like official announcement yeah. and uh, you know, in some ways it really looks like Chrome OS, you mm -hmm. know, which yeah. I mean, to a certain mm -hmm. degree kind of makes sense, right? It's all Google. Google has a certain yeah. language. They have a certain ethos yeah. on how they design these things. So it makes sense. But, but again, it, it yeah. goes back to your point, like those, those lines continue to kind of, yeah. you know, merge and, and get really fuzzy. Yeah. So it, it's really frustrating because we actually did support Chrome OS for a bit and it's, it's just kind of like this, divide and conquer thing that Google yeah. sometimes seem to do doesn't work out because it kind of waters down, like for, for, I mean, for us, it waters down development efforts, right? So yeah. we had one, we had a couple people working on the Chrome OS support and Chrome OS had a lot of bugs for us. Like I, I, it, it actually, we, I think the drag and drop at some point was just completely broken. Hmm. And so we wasted, I mean, I'll, I'll say it, we kind of like spent dev time on it and we, you know, kind of publicize it. So in the, like in the process of saying, okay, we're not going to support anymore. Then we had to retract functionality mm -hmm. and third, it kind of burned us. Like I, I, mm -hmm. I will say a lot of people I know who took the time and like did the advocacy within their own companies for this stuff got burned. Like both yeah. to just feeling like, Hey, I, I support this thing. And it feels like you just kind of left it out to dry with all these bugs and everything. And so, and, and that, that doesn't go away. And now like they're coming back and saying, Hey, please do large screens. And I, and again, I see this as someone who really enjoys large screens and wants to do a lot with it, but there's baggage and, yeah. and it ain't going away. And so yeah, I'm really leery about a lot of, I mean, like, again, I mean, I'm going to talk about large screens tomorrow on the thing that I did. So I, <laughs> I'm not trying to sound like a hypocrite here, but there's like the idealistic side. There's like the good work that the team has done to make large screens interesting. But then there's a whole bunch of baggage. And there's also just literally, can you convince people to get there? Yeah, like yeah. How do you undo time what, what's been done? Sadly, yeah. that whole left out the dry feeling isn't uncommon from Google in the history of Android and doing things where like, we're going to do this. It's really important until we say it's not. Right. right. And until like, we decide yeah. it's not. Yeah. yeah so. Stay tuned for our app section. And right. You'll, yeah, you'll exactly, find a, exactly. an example so. of that. Oh, God.